So plastic, the first one is polyethene. Polyethenes uh, or polythene. Polythenes, uh, the monomers is ethene. Okay, in form five, you are going to learn ethene. Uh, what is ethene? Uh, okay, but now you just try to remember that ethene is uh, two carbon molecule. Okay, two carbon molecule with a uh, double bond. Now, when you see there's a double bond here, then you should know that uh, this this polymer is produced through polymerizations by additions. Okay, polymerizations by addition. Okay, yeah. An another thing that you need to know is what types of polymerizations okay it undergoes uh, to produce this okay so actually it's given here for plastic uh, all of all the plastic listed here okay is made by uh, polymerizations by additions so you see I, I purposely put the additions word here okay so all of this six this six plastic uh, is made by polymerizations by uh, additions uh. okay and then you can see there's all double bond right double bond double bond double bond yeah, double bond, double bond, double bond. Because the additions reaction need double bond. Eh? Okay. And for uh, synthetic rubber also is uh, polymerizations by additions. Eh? Okay. So we have a double bond here. Okay. Double bond. Eh? But for synthetic fiber, then uh, it is produced through condensations. Eh? Okay. Polymerizations by condensations. And that is also you need to know. Because sometimes in exam, they will ask you, they give you a list of polymer. They ask, which of the following is produced by polymerizations by additions? Uh, then you should know that, okay, perspex, poly, polypropene, and teflon, okay? But uh, for synthetic fiber like nylon, terylene, uh, they are, are produced through uh, condensations. Okay, so so plastic uh, polythene, eh? polythene is produced by uh, additions reactions, okay? So the monomer is uh, ethene. Okay, and uh, this is the polymer, polythene. Eh? Okay, and the use of it, eh? the use of it, uh, the major use, eh? the major use of this uh, polythene is to make plastic bag. Okay, plastic bag, and also container and the uh, cups. Eh? Okay, uh, these types of plastic cups, a uh, plastic plate, all, all these. Okay, this this is a uh, polythene, eh? polythene, and the advantages of it is uh, it's light and strong. Uh, this is very very important eh? okay this is very very important always remember okay polythene is used to make plastic bag okay this will be asked uh, very often in exam eh? so polythene is used to make plastic bag you should put a five star here okay five star eh? for this polythene to make plastic bag plastic bag is very strong okay you see here eh? It's very thin, okay. This layer is very thin, okay. But uh, if you, it can withstand a few, maybe thirty to forty kg, okay. Still not broken, huh? okay. 20, 20, 30 kg is still not broken. So it's considered very strong. It just, just imagine this is just a very thin, okay. Okay, so it's considered very strong, huh? Because you must consider how much material that you use. The whole thing is just maybe just uh, less than it's about ten gram or five gram only, okay. 10 gram, 5 gram, but uh, it can hold up to 20 kg. So it's considered very strong. Uh, PVC. So PVC is polyvinyl chloride. Now PVC, you can see that the monomers is almost the same as polyethene. Po for polyethene, this one is hydrogen. This is hydrogen, right? For polyethene, eh? polyethene this is hydrogen. But for uh, chloroethene, Okay, this is chloroethene. Just now it's a uh, ethene, right? This is ethene. Okay, this is ethene. Uh, all four uh, atoms are uh, hydrogens. Okay, uh, but this one, this is chloroethene. One of the hydrogens is replaced by a chlorine. Uh, okay, so it's called a chloroethene. And uh, in polymerizations, we make these chloroethenes join together, then it form polyvinyl chloride. Okay, actually it's a polychloroethene okay but uh, there's another name for it it's called polyvinyl chloride or uh, usually we call it pvc pvc so that is for uh, pvc users of pvc yeah? polyvinyl chloride so pvc the users uh, raincoat okay using raincoat uh, piping okay to make pipes uh, or parts of the pipes okay uh, all this pipe okay and uh, insulated electric wires okay so the plastic, eh, 
that wrapped on the wires. Inside is a copper wire. Okay, this plastic uh, usually is made up of uh, PVC. So the advantages of it is it can be color and is a heat resistant. Heat resistant. So even uh, at high temperature, also it, it it will not melt easily. So that is a use of PVC. Polystyrene. Polystyrene. Uh, let's let's compare this. Uh, let's compare this with uh, ethene. Okay, ethene. We have two carbon double bond, hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. Okay, and this one is replaced by a C six H five. Okay, C six H five. Okay, I'm I'm not going to discuss with you. Okay, how this look like? Actually, it look like a beehive. Okay, but that's not important so far. And uh, this thing is called a phenyl, a phenylethene, phenylethene or phenylethene. Okay, so the monomer is phenylethene. Through uh, additions reactions, we can make them join together. Then it become a polystyrene. Eh? Polystyrene. This is polystyrene. Eh? Polystyrenes, and it's used. It's used in what? Packaging material. You buy your computers, okay? Eh? Then you will find that inside computers or sometimes televisions, uh, electronics instruments, uh, you will find that there are these things, these white things inside, okay? So it's used in packaging. Uh, foam drinking cup, okay, or when you go to buy rice, okay, or you buy uh, some drinks, uh, sometimes they will use this a uh, foam, foam uh, cup or foam uh, container. Packing material, uh, I think this one is, is the same as the first one, okay, packing or packaging material is the same, okay. Uh, as heat and electric insulator. Because this one, okay, is, is a good heat insulator, okay, so sometimes uh, it's, it's used uh, as a heat insulator, it's light but not strong. Okay, just cancel the strong. Okay, it's light but not strong. Eh? This one is light but not strong. Okay, foam, drinking cup or container, drinking cup or container. Eh? Okay, drinking cup or container. Next one, perspex. Okay, perspex. The monomer. Okay, this one is more complicated. Okay, the monomer. Uh, still two carbons, okay, there's two hydrogen here, okay, and then uh, here, one carbon attached to the CH3, another, another carbon attached to this CO2CH3 here, uh, methyl 2 methyl propinuate or methyl uh, metacrylate. So you must remember both of these two names, eh? this is the monomers for perspex. Through additions reactions, we, we make them join together to form polymer. Now perspex, okay, so this is perspex. Uh, perspex uh, is transparent, it's a transparent plastic. Okay, it's a plastic which is transparent. Uh. This one, not very sure, okay. This one sometimes it can be nylon, okay. It can be, uh, it can be perspex, it can be nylon, okay. But this one, this object, uh, this is perspex, okay. Usually this is perspex. Uh. Uh, this one maybe is perspex, okay. Sometimes it can be nylon. And uh, this is perspex. So because it's very light and strong, okay, so it's used as the windows panes of an uh, aeroplane. So aeroplanes, uh, you, you just try to knock on the windows, then you'll find that actually it's not glass. Uh. Uh, it's because glass is very heavy, okay, glass is very heavy, so theref therefore uh, they use perspex, uh, okay. And uh, sometimes it's used in lenses or car lamp cover. Car lamp cover sometimes is glass, sometimes it's uh, perspex. Okay, so this is perspex. Okay, polypropene. Polypropene, um, the structure is almost the same as ethene. Okay, two carbons, hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. Okay, but one of the hydrogen is uh, replaced by this structure. Okay, we call this methyl. Eh? So this is a propene, and we make the propene join together, they become a polypropene. And uh, polypropene is used to make plastic bottles. Okay, these two words actually is joined together. Plastic bottles. Eh? Plastic bottles, plastic bottles, and uh, plastic tables and chair. Okay, plastic chair. Okay, um, it's very strong and light. Yeah, that's is the advantages. Teflon, eh? Teflon, Teflon. The structure is also uh, similar to ethene, but all the hydrogen is replaced by fluorine. Eh? Okay, so it's tetrafluoroethene. Eh? For ethene, uh, all of these are hydrogen, 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 right? But this one is all fluorine, 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 fluorine. Eh? So tetrafluoroethene. Through additions, reactions, we make them join together. 
the use of it is to make non-sticky pots or pans okay like this pan eh? uh, you can see that those pans inside here we have one is is a uh, black material here right okay so this is a uh, teflon okay there's one layers of teflon here so if you use these pans to cook some things then you will find that uh, the food will not stick on its surface even though you do not use uh, any oil or you use small amount of oil or no oil so, so uh, the the food will, won't stick on the surface eh? normal pan if there's no oil the food will stick on the surface eh? but this one the food won't stick on the surface so this is a non-sticky pots or pan eh? and uh, this this layer the surface layer only eh? okay okay the other part is steel eh? it's steel okay this surface layer is teflon eh? teflon uh, it's very hard and it can withstand high temperatures and corrosive chemical and it's, it's quite expensive actually